hi guys welcome back to a new video if you're new to my channel you're very welcome my name is busola i'm a final year medical student living in nigeria i make medical school and lifestyle videos if you've not subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button right now turn on the notification bell and make sure you check out all my other videos i'm sure you would enjoy them in this video i'm going to be sharing with you guys medical school essentials for your clinical years in nigeria so if it's a video you'll be interested in watching then please keep on watching the number one thing that every single medical student should have i'll be surprised if you never had this at some point in medical school maybe you had it and they stole it or something but every medical student should have is a stethoscope if you don't have a stethoscope are you really a medical student mm, i'm not sure i'm not sure a stethoscope is the number one thing that you have to have and if you can afford it i would advise for you to buy an original stethoscope there are those cheap stethoscopes that a lot of us medical students have but if you can afford it i would i would advise you to buy the original one maybe a litman i have the litman classic three and um the advantage of this is that even though like you can get you can get away with it if you buy a face, fake stethoscope or like maybe a substandard one you definitely get away with it in medical school to be honest because a lot of us have that but um if you have the original stethoscope then you'll be able to pick up things on your own even when consultants are not there and the authentic stethoscopes they don't spoil quickly they don't spoil the way these fake or substandard ones spoil so quickly like those ones actually spoil like that fast so it will be better for you to just you know try as much as possible and get the original one and i think i would advise litman a lot of us have litman and i personally enjoy mine so definitely get that so number two essential thing for medical school is your word codes you need your word codes in fact from your preclinical years you would need your word codes but in preclinicals they don't call it word code they call it lab codes because you are literally going to the labs you are not going to any words in your preclinical years but definitely you need your word codes and personally i have five for every day of the week that whole thing of washing word codes during the week it just doesn't sit well with me i have five okay sometimes i may repeat one word code twice sometimes i do that but yeah i think that it would ju just be advisable for you to get as much as possible so that to reduce the stress of you having to wash during the week when you are tired and you don't have time number three thing that you have to get are your scrubs scrubs are theater wears those blue or green tops and bottoms that you wear to the theater those are your scrubs you definitely need that you're going to be rotating through surgery and ups and gynae so you definitely need that i would not advise for you to buy one either maybe buy two or buy three or even more number four thing that you'll be needing tape roll you need a tape roll you are going to be using it a lot especially when you are in ups and gynae and when you are in surgery you are going to be using them a lot so definitely get that especially during exams don't go to bedside exams without your tape roll you guys you don't want to do that because if you have someone who has a tumor or if it's like ups and gynae and you're going to an exam without your tape measure it doesn't make sense okay so you definitely definitely need to have a tape measure with you at all times another thing is your patella hammer especially when you're in neurology or neurosurgery this actually i have it but i don't carry it every single day to the hospital but you definitely have to have it especially during bedside exams as well you have to hold it you don't know what kind of patient you are going to get so this next set of things that i am going to say they are not particularly they are essential but these are things that most of the time you will get in the hospital in the theater before you go into any surgery they provide them to surgeons and medical students at the theater but to be frank as a medical student you are at the bottom of the food chain so if it is not enough then you probably have to get yours so it's just better for you to have yours handy but like i said it's not essential because most of the time you will get it at the theater and these things are your, your crocs your theater cap your um, gloves and your face mask 
so these four things are things that you know most likely you would get in the hospital but it doesn't hurt if you have them as well with you the next thing is also a pen touch you need a pen touch there was a day i was in a unit and they literally sent almost everybody home in my group to go bring their, their pen touches the consultant was like you can't be here in my clinic if you don't have a pen touch like leave and go get it so you definitely need that for doing neurological exams for examining tumors or swellings you definitely need that so you have to get that as well this is very cheap actually i think it's less than 1000 naira or between 1000 and 3000 naira or maybe even less than 1k to be honest so another thing that you definitely definitely need are your textbooks you need your textbooks and i already spoke very extensively about that in two different videos i'll leave the link here and in the description box so check that out i spoke about textbook recommendations for um, preclinical students and clinical students in two separate videos so i think that will be very helpful for you as well next thing that you need is a laptop you definitely need a laptop in medical school now there are some people very few who i know don't have laptops but it's just harder because every single time in every posting you have to present you have to make presentations you have to do a lot of that in fact most of the time you present every single week at least once so if you don't have a laptop it's just a bit harder i know that you can make presentations on your phone and whatnot but yeah i think you definitely need a laptop with the amount of presentations and the amount of things that you are going to have to be doing on your laptop the last but not least is your clothes so you need semi-formal or formal or semi-formal outfits for postings you can't just be wearing jeans for postings anymore you're in clinicals so you have to dress like a doctor so skirts shirts blouses ties for the guys you know all of those stuff you definitely need that so you need to stock up on that you need to go shopping i think that it is very exciting when you are um, getting into clinicals from preclinicals and then now you have to do all this fun shopping to get new clothes because you are in a new stage so yeah you definitely need that that's the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you've not and last but not least don't forget to be kind to yourself and be kind to others i'll see you in my next one bye